Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we'll be looking again at Power Automate and I've had this question a few times and it's basically revolving around how can you create dynamic folders and by that what we want to do in this example is as we want to create a new file on our OneDrive which you can see our directory here we want to save that in a new or create a new subfolder with today's date and then to place our newly created file within that folder. So it sounds more technical than it is, but it's actually really quite straightforward to do this. So what we'll do is jump over to Power Automate. So we're using the cloud version here and I'm just gonna create a new flow and I'll just do a instant cloud flow. So this is obviously if it's triggered uh, manually and let's call this uh, manual or no, actually let's say, new folder and then we'll go manually triggered because for us at this moment in time the trigger isn't important but for you you may need to do this as a scheduled cloud flow that runs either every day or multiple times per day so the first thing we're going to do into ours because again we're working so somewhat with dummy data but if we go back into our files you can see we've got this new staff list so for the example we'll simply just use this as our new files content so the first thing we need to do is obviously get the content from our file. So if we go get content, and of course for you, you're gonna have potentially a more valuable source than just a random file that you've picked. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is navigate to where this file is stored, so new staff list. And of course, we're still working with uh, OneDrive for Business in this example, but you could obviously be extracting your source data from maybe SharePoint or one of many other different um, directories. The next thing I'm gonna do, and obviously this is the part where you can now differ uh, and decide how you want to do this, but I'm gonna initialize a variable with my desired um, folder name. So to do that, we'll obviously search for initialize, uh, initialize variable. And what I'm gonna do is call this uh, maybe folder name. We'll change this to be a string and I'm going to use some dynamic content. So here, if you had a static recurring name, um, I can't think of a scenario why you might want to do this because we want it to be dynamic. You could obviously just type it in here, but we're gonna be using an expression to do ours. And all ours are simply going to be is to go format date time. And the date time I want to format is UTC now. And if I do the brackets, you can see, so that what this bit will do here is return the date timestamp for the current date and time at the point of running this. And I just want to reformat this so it's in a bit more of a consistent format. So for me, I'm gonna go four lowercase y's, two capital M's and two lowercase d's. And the big mistake I missed here is I just didn't do these within single quotes. So let's just add those in there. And what this is going to do is it's going to get the current uh, date and time string and it's going to reformat it so that it's in the format of year, month, and then day. Uh, if you hadn't noticed or weren't aware, obviously you need to make sure you do your months in capital M's because lowercase M's will indicate minutes rather than months. And yeah, and obviously just put this in the uh, single quotations so we know it's a string and select OK. And then what we've got here now is this variable is going to produce our folder name for us. So it's gonna work in this scenario, but I'm sure there may be other scenarios where if you're trying to do things more dynamically, as in creating more or multiple subfolders within the same flow, you may need to rethink how this is done. But for our example, and hopefully your example that you're trying to solve, this will be just the solution. So once we've got our name, we can now go to a new step, and this is gonna be creating our file. So if we go create file, uh, go into OneDrive for Business again for us. So the folder path for us is going to be the point at which we want to store this subfolder. So if we navigate through, uh, I can see that yeah, these are my folders or exist existing folders at the same level I wish to save my new one. So uh, if we go into my files, you'll see that the folders back up Central Excel and my files match what we see here. So to make sure that my newly created folder is at the same level, I'm just gonna go back one and select the root. So this is the level I want it. But for you, just navigate to whichever folder is the folder you wish your newly created folder to be appear within. And all I simply need to do here now is we can see we've got our slash there signaling our root folder. I'm just gonna click folder name and you can see what it's now gonna do is dynamically add or it's gonna dynamically look for this path or if it's not available, it will just create it for us. 
And then in terms of file name, let's just call this new file, nice and easily, dot, uh, csv and the file content is just going to be of course the file content from that file we extracted up the top here so this last step here well these last two steps the initialize the variable to get our folder name and this section here is all we need to be able to create these dynamic folders so you may have seen videos or tutorials about how you can obviously do a create folder um, using power automate so again there may be scenarios where you need that but for the particular question I've been getting regarding OneDrive, this is the solution uh, to hopefully meet your problems. So what we're gonna do is click save. And once that's saved, we can go into test, but before that we'll just once more go back into our My Files. So we can currently see backup Central Excel My Files. What we're expecting to see there is a new subfolder uh, in the format of, well, we say 2022-1129. And then obviously within that, we'll see our new file. So what we'll do is just go into test, manually test and then finally when it's ready go continue there's a few buttons to click here uh, run and then done and hopefully we'll get the green flag or green tick should we say down this create file one yep yeah, we can see it done in two seconds let's now go back into my files and we can see we've got that newly created folder here and you can see with these little uh, sort of like the loading icons or three of them you can see about that folder and then when we go into there you can see we've also got our new file so trying to keep this video uh, nice and concise just to the the key points here but i hope hope that answered your question regarding how to create dynamic subfolders when creating your new files if you did enjoy that video and it answered your question please don't forget to give the video a like not only greatly appreciated by me but does help that all important youtube algorithm and if this is your first time maybe finding one of our videos or you've watched them in the past and you're still yet to subscribe can i please ask you to consider hitting that subscribe button and also that bell notification button that way you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out in the future so lastly thank you very much again for watching and we'll see you in the next video